Hey everybody, it's a 3D printing professor here. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about, about the fact that 3D printers aren't perfectly safe and we need to take some, some reasonable precautions around them. Now, uh, before you think that I'm, I'm doing this all of myself, I'm actually cribbing the notes from uh, a Mr. Bob Zalosh. He's a man, he's a professor who analyzes fire risks in all sorts of situations and he's analyzed the fire risks of 3D printers as well. So I'm using his notes to make sure that my thoughts are as complete as possible, okay? Here we go. So 3D printing does have some risks associated with the materials that we use it for, the chemicals that we commonly use with 3D printing. The mechanics themselves have risks in them that are, are of a minor nature, but we should talk about them. Uh, there's lots of different kinds of 3D printing. There's powder 3D printing, photopolymers, and of course, good old fuse filament fabrication. And that's the one that I'm going to be talking most about, and it's the one that you're most likely to have some experience with. Now, fuse filament fabrication uses a, a polymer, a filament of plastic, and that plastic, it could generate a, a a flammable gas that a spark from somewhere could easily ignite. Now, how do we get it up to that temperature? Because usually our 3D printers don't work with the plastics at that temperature, but a broken thermistor or temperature sensor could cause a runaway heater element to just get hotter and hotter and try and get it to that point. Believe it or not, I've actually had this happen to me. I had a heater element that was disconnected and I just set it in the top and when I tried heating up what I thought was the left heater element and heated up the right one, the right one kept on reading the sensor and it didn't detect any changes in heat because it was disconnected and put somewhere else. So it got hotter and hotter and hotter and it melted the piece of plastic that it was sitting in and I was going, what the heck is this smell coming from? And when I realized what it was, I, of course, I shut the printer down and went out. So thank goodness I was there. But yes, dumb things do happen. This is a real possibility. Also, these machines have electrical wiring in them, and electrical wiring could cause a spark. Now, is that likely to happen? I don't know, because most of these 3D printers, to get them as cheap as they are, they have substandard components, so that's a real risk. And the truth is, there have been two, no, no, now three cases where a fire started, and we don't know exactly what was the spark that caused the fire. Could it have been the electronics? We can't rule that out, honestly. Uh, another possibility is that the hot end, as it gets hot, could come in contact with some foreign material. Not the plastic, but something else that burns or melts at a lower temperature. That could catch on fire and could start a fire. In fact, one of those cases where we're not entirely sure, we know that a fire happened and that a 3D printer was involved, and we're not entirely sure what happened, they think maybe that the insulation that he was using, he was trying a, a wrong type of insulation and that it got around the hot end and that that started the fire, possibly, who knows? So it's a possibility that we need to think about. So make sure that your hot end is clear of any foreign materials. We'll talk more about that in a second. Also the power supply, most 3D printers have a big power brick on them. That power brick generates heat and electrical sparks I've had my own power brick. The cable going into it got pinched or something. It was going around the corner. I don't know what happened. One day it wasn't working. And when I tracked out what happened, it was melted in two parts. I don't know if it had a short in it. I don't know if it got a cut in it. I don't know. I don't know what happened. If a rat bit into it and stopped it, I don't know. All I know is that my, my cable was melted in two parts. And I looked at that and it was melted. There was heat involved, and I was just thankful that it didn't happen near or around anything flammable that could have caught on fire and caused a real disaster. Yeah, I've, I've already told you two stories from my own past where I skirted disaster in this case. These, these things are real. Um, the other thing that we need to think about is that if we do get hot enough to melt and light on fire these thermoplastics, they will flow. In other words, this fire won't be contained to our 3D printer. It will spread, and it will spread quickly as these thermoplastics flow. 
So what can we do? What are the, the precautions that we can do? Of course, there are big precautions that we can do. There are third-party solutions that will detect runaway heat uh, just with a little heat sensor, a heat detector, or a smoke detector that is connected to your power supply and will shut off your power supply if it detects anything. That's one option. You can also buy a big enclosure to put around your 3D printer. They even have some of them that when it detects runaway heat, it will release a fire extinguisher right onto your 3D printer and put everything out. Now these are big solutions and the sort of things that I don't expect everybody to do. There are some, some more reasonable solutions, uh, uh, precautions that we can take. Number one, make sure that your work area is clear of any debris or anything that might catch on fire. Make sure you're not using your 3D printer in an area that has uh, rags or cloth or, <laughs> in the case of this young man, flash paper because he was in a, a, a magic shop. So make sure that your 3D printer isn't close to anything that might catch on fire. Keep those foreign materials away. The other thing that you should do is make sure that your 3D printer is being used in a well-ventilated area. Make sure that it's not in a small enclosed room. Make sure that you can open a window or open a door to clear any vapor or fumes out to make sure that you don't get a dangerous buildup of those things. Also. Make sure that you've got a fire, uh, a smoke detector near your 3D printer so that you can be alerted and you should really have a fire extinguisher near your 3D printer in case something goes wrong. Next, remember that 3D printers are machines with moving parts and that you could hurt yourself so don't go sticking your finger in there and keep children away. Some 3D printers have stickers on them reminding you of this but whether or not they do it's best to play it safe. True, the stepper motors are probably going to just go out of sync and miss a step if you stick your finger in there, but there are gears and there are places where it pinches together. Just exercise a little bit of caution. And then, last thing, don't leave your 3D printer to run unattended because when it's unattended, that's when bad things will happen. Now, hopefully at this point you're raising your hand and going, whoa, 3D printing professor, do you actually expect me to do all of these things? I mean, the fact that a 3D printer runs without you having to stand over is the best part about a 3D printer. And my response is, no, uh, not really. I mean, honestly, this whole discussion isn't about telling you when you can and cannot print. I'm not saying you can't print if you're not being safe. This discussion is about being aware of the safety and the things that you need to do to be safe while 3D printing. And if you can't do those for any reason, or if you're just not gonna do them, at least be aware of it so that you can adjust your behavior to be as safe as you can be and fix it where you can't. I, I don't want to scare anybody away from 3D printing. That's not my goal here. And I'm not trying to tell you what you can and can't do. You know, for as many people are, uh, as many people are out there doing 3D printing, as many 3D printers are out there, and as safe as we haven't been, three incidences, not actually a, a really bad statistic. We're doing all right. 3D printers are pretty safe machines but take the extra step on your part to be safe because you don't want to be the next dangerous incident. Just keep your mind aware. Remember, safety first, and then go do something awesome because I know you can. Thanks for watching.